AI, more specifically a large language model, have a fundamental fatal issue that is preventing AI enter everybody's house. Even more, within the field of study for AI, some lead opinion leader, for example, Yan Lacan, even believe that we are putting our effort into the wrong direction within the AI study. That fatal flaw is large language model is actually lacking one thing, perspective. Understand this disadvantage not only give us a peek of what people in the field believe, and even more, it show a brand new look. What does it mean valuable for human or in future? Even then, AI may become more and more powerful. What will keep human competitive in our society? To understand why perspective are so powerful for human or even play a such important role in society, we first have to understand. What kind of perspective we're talking about? You hundred percent have that one moment that there is a very popular either music or movie that everybody loves, but you just seems not that interested, or sometimes even hate it. Of course, I'm not talking about those like a teenager rebelling faces that hate every single thing they see, but you have your own take based on your experience. One of best demonstration of this kind of perspective is actually one of the movie critics named. Roger Ebert. He is the only man who, by writing criticism for movie, to win a Pulitzer Prize. Because I feel that people are much more willing to go to a movie they think is going to be mediocre than they are willing to go to a movie that they think is going to be good. It's wrong to believe that people want to go to good movies. They're very suspicious of good movies. They're very willing to go to midstream movies. And I got a call once at the Sun. One of his famous comment is actually on a movie named Bucket List, talking about two cancer patients locked into the same room. They don't like each other. However, they escape together. They done a mission of the impossible, finish their bucket list. Everybody was laughing and crying at the end of the movie, and gave a five star review. Besides that one man, Roger Ebert, and、um, this is his comment. He say, "I urgently advise hospital do not make the DVD available to your patient. There may be an outbreak of bed pants thrown at the TV screens." The reason why he comment in such a thing because at the moment he himself are suffer through cancer, just like the patient in the bucket list. However, his process. Is way more painful than anybody else. He lose ability to speak or even swallow, so he have to eat through a tube and enunciate his word through a computer. At the moment he was watching this movie, he feel they really actually making fun and underestimate how painful the cancer is. That comment almost become a, like rebellious to the movie producer that make fun of cancer patients. And his critic actually changed lots of movie that was made in the future and improved the movie quality bit by bit in the industry. And of course, you may think that movie industry is such a remove on、um, personal opinion based、uh, industry, but in reality, is in real life, any time we are looking for perspective, regardless as high as a CEO or just a customer service. Every time we have an issue with a certain thing, we want to call the customer service. We need a real person to speak to us to understand what actually went wrong. Or back to the CEO example, no company want to find a CEO doing the correct stuff by the book. They also want a personal touch into the business and find a new path for the business. If something don't really requires an individual take, an individual perspective, in the past five to ten years, probably already be replaced with a machine or a small code of programming. And why does AI don't really have this、uh, personal perspective? The answer is very easy because how large language model was trained, it has to eliminate personal perspective. What they do basically is they collecting sentence and other language material and they blend everything together. You can imagine it's like they make a smoothie. They shove every fruit they can imagine off and they give it to you. Does it taste good? Yes, it is. But what's in there? You have zero clue. In the end, the result is after this blending all the materials, AI can only give you a public perspective or. Uh, average individual perspective, 
They cannot give you a unique take that、uh, almost tailored to you. Some people was freak out over AI in the beginning because they believe that oh AI right now is so intelligent. They're like a kid at eight years old or ten years old. But the reality is, you will not ask a ten year old、uh, kid to write advertisement for you, or you ask a ten year old kid to down a content job for you with no assistance. And there's of course a lots of company try to attack on that specific issue. How can we have that individual perspective? For example, Apple, in WFDC, they announced they will implement Apple Intelligence. They one of the keyword they provide. Call personal contacts. They want to collect your daily data. Maybe, maybe the AI can mimic the perspective of you and help you on the way. But the truth are, how possible that is? We still need to go through tests of time. And I make a specific video on Apple's own algorithm to do that. You can find that video in my channels. And when on the process that we try to use a data-driven way. To invent a personal perspective, that will also come with another risk. Is when imagine one day Apple succeeded that he,、uh, all the AI on our phone can mimic our own perspective and help us decide、uh, what to eat, where to shop, where to go, compare the prices for me, and what's my perspective finding a movie that I have to skip all this time searching. Will the AI have a self awareness? But this kind of self-awareness does it will come with a price that they may get scared of to shut it off. They have an emotion just like humans, and shut them off may、uh, feel inhumane. Will that kind of paradox happen? We don't know. And if you dig down this issue a little more, what make AI lack of perspective is not even the problem of transformer models, large language models. It's actually to the method that was. Choosing within the field of AI, called data-driven style, they want to find like a transformer model and feed a lots of data to see how smart it can get, and one day it will reach a cap. So they're gonna seek in a new model so it can take more data and more intelligence. But the question now we look back, like Professor Yan Lecon said. The chances for them to have a personal perspective or self-awareness in that sense is almost as low as for dog to start speaking human languages. Is it possible? Yes, it is through evolutions of the algorithm, iterations of algorithm. But can we survive till the day? We may not know. Now we loop it back through the mirror of technology. We really see what actually are valuable for humans. Is that specific? Personal perspective. A lots of people always want to go to the path of right, go to the path of what everybody said, go to the path of the political party that they believe in. But in the future forward, when technology develops more and more, those people will only lose their values. Just like Stephen Jobs said. Uh, one day you will realize the world we live in is made by people that know smarter than us, and you can also make a life of your own. And that will be all for today's video. My name is Paul. I see you next time. Bye.